Hey, it's been a while. I'm 20. I turned 20 this year. It's been almost two months since I turned 20. And I'm not gonna lie, my mindset has changed drastically since I've turned 20. My biggest fear is death. My biggest fear is being dead. My biggest fear is no longer being alive and being able to live. And every year my birthday hits and I go through a little bit of this crisis where I'm like, holy shit, I'm almost dead. <laughs> like I'm getting very close. And so now that I'm 20 and my teenage years are gone, I look back on my teenage years and there's not a whole lot that I remember. I, yes, I road tripped. Yes, I got my dog. Yes, I built my van, but it was a lot of school and stuff that I didn't enjoy. I didn't enjoy a lot of my teenage years. So I have started living by this, and that is, well, I'll propose it to you. If you knew you were going to die tomorrow, what would you get up and do right now today? And I know a lot of people would say, well, I would spend time with those I love, which yes, most of us would be doing that. But I really mean, are you doing something that you care about? Are you doing something that you're gonna be happy about when you're old and can't do anything else? Because I know most of the time I am on my phone, I'm being hard on myself, I force myself to be productive, not because I want to do what I'm doing, but because a lot of the way I live is for other people. And I'm not going to do that anymore. When I ask myself that question almost every day, if I knew I was going to die tomorrow, what would I get up and do right now? I often think of doing something that scares me. I am a very scared, anxious person. And now that I'm 20, I wrote a bucket list. I wrote a real professional adult bucket list. Um, but before I wrote that bucket list, I scheduled a trip to Peru by myself, alone, party of one, because it's scary. And I think I live a lot in my comfort zone and I avoid things that scare me and I run away from my anxiety, which, it's not the way I want to live out my 20s. So I do have this bucket list and to share a few things that are on there. Um, something I've always wanted to do, which I knew would go on the list, is go to all 50 states. I also want to do the two common ones, uh, skydiving and bungee jumping. I want to scuba dive in Australia. I want to go to Iceland. I want to go to Thailand. I want to stay in a treehouse in the middle of the jungle. These are things that I can't really picture myself doing, which is kind of why I want to do them. Now, the point of this is to share my thoughts, but also update you, but also spark something in you to think about what you're doing and what you're not doing. Try to dig deep into your your younger self, your child self, what scares you? Really, like what scares you? I'm terrified of heights. I'm terrified of falling. Yet I've been looking up skydiving places and I, <laughs> I drive with like really heavy, like EDM bass house music. And I think about skydiving and I feel like the coolest person in the world. <laughs> that is the feeling that I love thinking about it, thinking about making those memories, but then also doing them and, and doing something I thought that I would never do, but doing something that makes my younger self happy as well. So you, I want you to tell me something that is gonna go on your bucket list that you're going to make or that you have already something that you're going to add to it, even if you do have one. And also, if you have ideas as to how I should commemorate my bucket list, right now it's literally just a notes on my phone. 
And I was thinking I could like wood burn it or I don't know. I want to do something cool, something I, and I can physically like cross off or check off as I do it. But that's all. I have a lot of exciting trips and plans and ideas coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please tell me something that's going to go on your bucket list. And please like and subscribe. It's been a while since I've said that. But peace out. Have a good night.